So how to create a landing page with Kajabi. It's a lot more simple than you might think. I'm going to show you exactly how I build out my landing pages in this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. So hey there, Tim Peekman here. I am a Kajabi hero and I am a Kajabi fan. And the definition of a hero is anyone that's made at least $1,000 on the Kajabi platform. And this is why I've put together this program Zero to Kajabi Hero to walk and talk you through everything you need to know to actually get from where you are today to Kajabi Hero and beyond. Before we jump into any of the training, I want to first of all make you an offer. I want to offer you my extended 30-day trial of Kajabi. That's over double the 14-day trial that's available to the public. You can get access simply head on over to timpeekman.com forward slash Kajabi and create your account today. And as soon as you've done this, I will automate you a free course, Kajabi Unboxed. These are the things that you need to do immediately once you unbox your Kajabi account. And if you stick around at the end of that 30 days to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you another course. It's my sales page templates. You can just download these in a theme and then upload them into your Kajabi account. Yes, this is an affiliate link and all that means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost to you. So that being said, let's dive straight on over into the training. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so now we're back in the website builder and this time we're going to be looking at building out a landing page. So we've had a quick look at the design of the actual website itself. So you just need to click on pages. Now this is where Kajabi actually um, collates them into three different areas. So you've got your website pages, your landing pages and then your funnel pages. So these are all the website pages that I just showed you before. Now we're going to go into landing pages. And if this is the first time you've done this, you won't have any landing pages. Now, um, Kajabi actually have a, a bit of a startup wizard or you can literally just click start from scratch. So I'm going to show you how to start a landing page from scratch. And uh, you can either click get started or you could keep browsing from any of these. But yeah, I'm going to choose a blank page and just click get started. So. I'm going to call this landing and the idea of a landing page um, well you, you have to ask yourself why am I creating this landing page and the, the main idea is to usually is is to squeeze an email out of someone It's called a squeeze page if there are no other options on this page but to give you their email or actually click away so that's what I'm going to show you here uh, how to actually do so on the previous page I said download the free guide you can just simply link that to this page so behind the call to action button you can just get this link of this page so now we've actually created it we can actually go back out and there should be a landing page already created for us you can then go to the three little dots here and then click edit details because what we want is the code so this is again in my partner's account but you copy this link and then when you go into your home page put this link behind the call to action button and then it would take people through to the next page which is this page so now I'm just going to click on landing and then we're just going to build this out now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of uh, the large image if you want to delete any blocks just click delete this block and in here I'm just going to add content and I'm going to add a form because I want people to actually opt in now Kajabi should give you a default form if I can select yes a default form here I'm going to use that form and then I'm just going to say um, I'm going to add this to download my awesome guide now and the more explicit you can be obviously this is just for um, demonstration purposes if you can be really uh, explicit and um, descriptive on what this download is all about then people are going to actually you know are more inclined to actually give you their email address so here any like I said any block you want to use you just click into it and then you can edit it on the left so this main section here I want to go to background and then I don't want any background in it just yet desktop layout I want to make section full height so it actually gives you the full page because if I was to look in here and add a header if I added this header 
and then click on the desktop layout to show the header, it's going to give people the same option like to click to store library account contact. So I don't want to show them that header and then I'll just click preview. So at the moment, what it's going to actually show is just one, one page with name and email, or you can even have email if you don't want to collect name. So this needs a bit more work. So you can go to something like uh, Unsplash um, or any sort of, if you Google royalty free images and then just go uh, desktop wallpapers, something like that and scroll through any that you find. Um, let's go for uh, laptop. So yeah, anything like this, if you find like a, a minimalist background, so let's use, let's use this one here. I'm just going to download this free version here, download that. And then when I go back into my landing page, I'm just going to go click on the actual background itself and click on background and then go to the background image, new file. And then I'm going to go into this one here and they're going to pull through that image. So if you click save, and then upload that image. Then what I probably want to do is, um, it's not showing anything now because I haven't checked the image. So background media type is image. Then what I want to do is I, I want to probably try and put this as a bit of a watermark because that doesn't really look good at all. So background color, I probably want to try like either a white or a gray, but then actually play around with like having it 90% transparent uh, let's try 80% transparent so let's try 75 yeah that that looks half decent if even 70 there look so click save um, and then download my awesome guide now join free trial again I would go in and try and get some copy here get started today before once in a lifetime opportunity doesn't really it's not that explanatory right now but then click on the submit button you probably want your own branding in there. You probably want um, you want it a little bit bigger, and then you probably want the call to action is like download now or download. But then you've got to think, okay, once they download this, then where do they go? So behind that call to action button, this is what you do for your home page. You actually go to the call to action button, thank you page. You can either build out another landing page for a thank you page or go to a, a checkout or URL or a, just a normal thank you and then put the URL in here or select your thank you page. So that really is a very quick tour on how to just actually start a, a landing page. And I mean, e even now that that image looks really, really, um, I'd probably try and take that down a little bit. So I'd probably go like 90 or something just so it actually stands out. So it's really, really clear of like where to actually put your um, your name and address in. So just have a play around with it. It doesn't look too great. I probably wouldn't be too happy with that. But just remember that you can actually go back here. You can click into the settings. You can have a look at the style guide. You can change your style, change your messaging. But this really is just a simple walkthrough on how to actually put up a landing page and then you actually get a URL of a landing page and you can start to see once you put a home page up, you can then link that to another landing page. You can link it to a squeeze page. You can link it to then offers and sales pages down the line. So this is the landing page that we've just done. You can edit these details again. So you can go into here and then your social images and sharing. If you want this landing page, if this is uh, something that you want to share, keep it visible in search. If not, you can actually take it away from search, but remember to put page title, page description, and then any of your social images that you want this to pull through if you were to share that URL. So that's it. Hopefully you found value in this training and you got something out of it and you managed to implement something. If you haven't done already, claim your free account. That link once more, head to timpinkman.com forward slash Kajabi and look for that free mini course that I'll be granting you. Check your spam if it's not there. And if you are progressing past that 30 days and you become a paying member like me, 
just reach out to me, Tim at timpeatman.com and I'll grant you that second mini course which involves the sales page templates so you can just download them and upload them into your Kajabi account. And I look forward to seeing you on another video soon.